Oh man, I gotta clean the house. Okay, Yinko. Clean the living room. All right, so I was kind of interrupted from my retro gaming session, which I kind of do at home, it's nice and chill. But thank you for joining me in this video, guys, because I'll be showing you how I quickly spend time cleaning my home with the Ecovac D-Bot X1 Turbo Vacuum and Mop. Now, uh, this video is sponsored by Ecovac. I want to thank them for sending the, the uh, D-Bot X1 Turbo over. And one of the cool things I like about this is the fact that, first of all, it has voice recognition. You heard me earlier say the OK phrase, and I was able to activate uh, the vacuum to start, you know, cleaning around the home, which is great, which is a lovely thing because, you know, I could easily, of course, pull out the app if I wanted to, or, but I just simply used voice commands and that was a nice thing to see. Now, let's take a look at the vacuum itself uh, while, of course, I keep gaming because, of course, I am sitting on my couch while doing this whole thing, is the fact that it has, of course, a 3D camera at the very front of, of the vacuum itself, allowing it to map the room all across. Now, this is a light but also sturdy uh, vacuum. It's got this nice uh, premium build to it. Even though it's plastic on the very top cover when you pop it up, it's got magnetic latches to basically lock that down for you and you do have your little waste basket bin. And of course, make sure you dump that out, uh, you clean up the uh, filters when you need to. Now, underneath, you do have two brushes on the sides, you do have a main suction brush and you have placements for your mop, which we'll get to a little bit later in this video because yes, this vacuum also mops and vacuums at the same time. It's kind of like a joint thing. So it cleans up and it wipes down for you. So when you look at this vacuum though, it's got a ton of functionality. And the reason I like it and I like using it while I'm just kind of chilling at home and I want to clean around, especially in this case where I actually do have guests coming in, is the fact that I can go into the smart cleaning center in the app and I can do a bunch of things. So I've gone ahead and mapped out my living room, my dining room, that's on the first floor as well as also the kitchen. And you can see the areas where, of course, this thing has fully mapped it out. Now, it actually didn't take too long to map out um, the areas within the home. So that was actually cool. And you've got a couple of options here. You've got a camera mode, you've got a 3D mode, and you've got like a layer mode. But before we get to those there, you do have some really interesting customizations you can go through with this vacuum. So it's not just something where I can, of course, use the voice controls to call, but I can go in and do a couple of things. I can look at the area map itself, uh, and then I can also choose my cleaning preferences. I can clean once or twice, so telling you to clean a room two times just to make sure that everything is actually done. I can set the uh, mode for the vacuum power from quiet to maximum, and then I can also check the water flow for the, um, for the mopping, so I can have low or high depending on my needs. Now, you can set up a cleaning sequence if you want to, and that cleaning sequence can be mapped to specific rooms or specific areas. This is where customization or custom comes in. Now, the reason I like custom is that you can go around and select a specific room or you can select a specific area of a room. So for instance, uh, the front door area where a lot of people walk in, people are taking off shoes, gets really dirty, I can go and select that area and use and set the vacuum to clean that a couple of times a day you know, just to make sure that the area is always clean, which is a nice feature. I don't have to manually do it. And I know that if I'm gonna have a lot of people coming into the house, that that will always look clean and also look presentable. So that is actually pretty cool. Now, the other half of this thing, of course, is that it mops and vacuums at the same time. So if you guys know Board Femme, she loves a clean house because I, I do too, but I'm not, the best that is, you probably would imagine. Uh, and she always mops the kitchen. She likes to make it clean. I, on the other hand, would rather use the uh, D-Bot X1 Turbo because it can do those two ta tasks at the same time. Now, there's no mode you have to switch on the app. All you really have to do is basically put the mops in and it switches to vacuum and mop mode. Now, you probably wonder why can't we just do each one separately? It's just the way it's set up, but it's kind of nice because it makes sure first that the area is clean before it starts uh, kind of mopping it down. So it kind of, you know, it takes the dirt in and then you, it, it wipes it out. 
The other thing too is that this system, the X1 Turbo, has the ability to clean the brushes. So after the it's done mopping, it takes it back uh, where you do have, of course, water containers where you can put in your fluid and your water for your mopping. It also has, of course, an area where you can actually dump the dirty water. And it cleans the mopping pads to make sure that the pads are clean each time it does its mopping routine. So that is actually also pretty good. So for me, it makes it easy for me to, you know, mop my, my kitchen or my hardwood floors that I need to. The other good benefit of that is the fact that, look, um, you would think, okay, you've got carpets, you've got rugs in certain places. Will it actually go over those? No, it does not. So when it gets, if it's in a vacuum, a mop mode, when it gets to a carpet, it stops and it tries to find its way around it. It will not go over your carpets. It will not go over your rugs, which is a good thing. I've had other robot vacuums who have kind of just gone over <laughs> parts of my house where it's got rugs and stuff like that, which doesn't help and kind of defeats the purpose, right? So for me, that is a huge plus. Now, the other aspect to it is the 3D mode. I like the 3D mode because it actually gives you the full 3D representation of your house after mapping, but you can go in and add in furniture, for instance. So I can add in furniture into specific locations in the house. I can add in the types of furniture. I can add in rugs and things like that. I haven't fully done that here, but what you can see is that I've got different locations. I can go ahead and tell the vacuum to mop underneath my dining table, and it would only do that section. So again, that is a good thing because once you have the 3D map, you can do that uh, mapping overall. Now, I really like it though. I think it's a solid vacuum um, all the way through. Now, yes, it does have some um, downsides. Uh, one of them, of course, is the fact that I wish I could separate uh, mopping and vacuuming at the same time. I'll love to do that separately if I just want to mop some floors instead of just kind of doing both at the same time. I, I think that once that's added to it, and probably it's just a software thing, that'll actually add more functionality to it. This is a great robot vacuum. It is priced around 1300, but I think you find a lot of value. You can see going around my, my house, uh, there were obstacles, there were things you had to go over. It was able to actually hit all those areas quite effectively. Now, I'm done talking guys, and I know you enjoyed this video, but honestly, I have to go return back to, uh, to punch out on my Super Nintendo because I was supposed to be gaming and not talking while the vacuum is actually doing work. So if you have any questions, or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.